Hello. This week we're going to be talking about research in digital forensic investigations. Um, in my opinion, this is probably one of the most important aspects of digital forensic investigations is being able to keep up on research. Uh, the reason for that is just because technology changes so fast, um, investigators that are doing investigations full time often get uh, new technologies in that have uh, been used in some sort of crime and normally the investigators have to spend quite a bit of time doing research on how those technologies work and again like we were doing before trying to figure out what user activities um, or how to extract user activities or user information from those devices um, how to get metadata how to create timelines so it's very important for investigators to be able to do research not only on technical topics, but also just to know where digital forensics is going, where cybercrime is going to, and to keep updated on the different types of cybercrimes. So what we're talking about this week is essentially how to do research, how to stay up to date on these topics. And the best way you can possibly do that is get used to reading uh, academic journal articles. Um, academics that are producing a lot of articles um, are normally focusing quite a bit on the technologies that are relevant right now. So um, academics and investigators work together in most countries usually quite well to, uh, to say we are currently having this particular problem and then academics will normally look at that problem and find solutions for the investigators and then they tend to publish papers on uh, how to do certain types of investigations, how to analyze certain data sources. Um, so that cooperation and that publication process is really helpful to other investigators as well. So while you're doing digital forensics and cybercrime investigations, make sure that you're accessing academic articles and keeping up to date on what's going on in the field. Um, again, not only for the technical aspects, but also for um, uh, kind of policies that are going on, new, new standards that are coming up, new ways to verify data or analyze data, um, new approaches to management of digital forensics laboratories. Um, a lot of issues that uh, organizations tend to have uh, isn't necessarily that they don't have technical people or technical knowledge, but just that the management process isn't um, streamlined. So they still have a lot of backlogs or a lot of issues because the management uh, parts of the investigation isn't done well. So this is a, uh, a way to learn a little bit about every aspect of um, investigation, management of the investigations, management of victims, management of suspects, all of these different aspects um, are normally published in a lot of different, uh, usually academic journals, but also books. Um, so the, the resources that I'm recommending for you this week, I'll give you links to uh, forums where both academics and um, industry leaders and digital forensic investigators, cybercrime investigators from all over the world tend to go. Uh, most of these forums are in English, but I will post some links to some Korean forums as well. Um, I'll also recommend some books and some publishers that uh, normally produce some very good, uh, relatively new um, kind of how-to manuals as well as general guides on how to do investigations. I'll also post links to other governments and their guides on how to do investigations and I will make some some journal recommendations um, of journals that I, I believe uh, uh, are the best f that you should be looking into at least regularly. Um, so basically this week I'm going to be giving you a lot of uh, resources for you to go through and hopefully get you used to the uh, research process, this part of this. Um, most of the cybercrime investigators that I work with uh, spend at least one hour a day researching some sort of new topic that's related to their case. Now most of that research is very, very technical, but that still means that a large part of their job is research. So if you know how to research well and you know how to organize the research that you've done and especially share the research that you've done, uh, not only will you be better at digital investigations and cybercrime investigations, but you'll also be able to help your colleagues a lot more. Um, so that's, that's it for this week um, and thank you very much.